just drifting away from him all the time. There's a sort of fascination about this half to see if they can, uh, if Alistair can get the goal. And not wanting to risk any injury at all to his uh, star forwards, Sivaji has decided on the right thing, and that's to replace Abbasad. So most likely, uh, V Sundramuthi will partner Alistair up with Sapran now, and Steven Tan, who is a very good crosser of the ball, will come to the right and perhaps deliver some very important crosses for Alistair Edwards to latch on to. He gets his first touch of the ball immediately. Good work here, Steven. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a big laugh here because Steven, well, even Sundramuthi is having a laugh there because we saw, probably saw the fastest goal of the tournament from Alistair Edwards after 13 seconds and this is probably the fastest goal by a substitute after coming on that too after 13 seconds Steven Tan has got himself on the score sheet with goal number 6 well Steven takes the goal tremendously well there under pressure just knocks it into the far corner and uh, well, I've been watching football for 33 years now and uh, I've never seen anything like that substitute come on first three touches of the ball and he scored <laughs> and Alistair Edwards must be thinking why couldn't that have happened to him <laughs> that by the way is Stephen's first uh, home goal of this Malaysia Cup season the semi-pro league season rather and his second in the tournament he scored one against the armed forces he scored two against the armed forces Yaya Madon and he will now replace Fandi Ahmad resting all their regulars Sivaji taking no chances at all as I said earlier on and uh, what better person to take Fundy's place than a guy with all the vision of a playmaker, Yaya Madun, perhaps the most intelligent player in the Singapore squad. Yes, I'm a great fan of Yaya, actually. Um, I thought he was badly missed in the SEA Games after collecting an injury in the early game. And uh, he may be able to create some opportunities.